Hello everyone, welcome back to another Power BI video. In this video, we will be discussing about how we can connect to MySQL Server Database uh, from Power BI and a common issue that is faced while connecting to MySQL from Power BI. So let's get started. Okay, uh, it is as simple as uh, going uh, to get data here and connecting to MySQL uh, when uh, a Power BI has uh, default connectors for the MySQL. So we need to go to the database here and then the MySQL. So this is a common issue, MySQL database. Uh, when we face with the MySQL database, the connector requires one or more additional components to be installed before it can be used. So this is a common issue that is uh, uh, faced during connecting to MySQL database. To fix this issue, we have to download a .NET connector from the MySQL download. So the I'll drop the link in the description. All you need to do is go to this uh, download link and download the exe file here. Once the download is completed, just install it and restart the Power BI and it should connect to the MySQL. So let's see. Okay, okay. Uh, it's downloading. Let's give it a minute. Once it is downloaded, so we this is the setup for the uh, .NET connector to MySQL, and I will install a complete installation. What this installer is going to do is it will create it will install the software that is required for the connection to be established between the MySQL and the Power BI and this this connector is also responsible for establishing connections when you are developing applications etc and when you are connecting to the database right so the installation is now completed let's go back to the Power BI and get data Once you click on the get data, go to database and then MySQL connect. I still see the issues exist. I need to restart the Power BI. So what I do is I close and reopen. Once the Power BI desktop opens, let's connect normally to the MySQL database. database mysql and there you go so i connect to the local host local host i have a local host uh, mysql database with employees as the database name so let me co connect to the employees database and import the table employees Okay, I select the employees and load. So this is a common issue while uh, uh, connecting to the MySQL server. Many people faces this issue and uh, this can be simply fixed by uh, installing the .NET connector for the MySQL database. Okay, we have the data imported from the MySQL database here. So that is all for today. This is how we connect to the MySQL database from the Power BI. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.